I was listening to our passage word tonight, and, um, and of course I listened to it over the weekend. And how many can say that they were words of life that he spoke? Words of life. Anointed words and words that we should take seriously. Oh, yes, amen. And he was talking about a great church. And I, and I got thinking to myself, well, what makes a great church? Is when that church reflects a great God. Oh, yes. That's right. That's right. And the scripture came to my mind. It's in uh, Psalms, the 34 chapter. It says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises should be continually in my mouth. My soul will make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall fear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. You know, there's a name greater than my name. Your great, any name on the earth, on the earth, above the earth. And that's the name of Jesus. And when a church exalts that name, it becomes great. And when they become witnesses, the brother said, use Acts 1 and 8 tonight. He says, when you shall receive the Holy Ghost, you shall be witness of me. Right. Well, I want to be a witness, don't you? Oh, yes. 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 Praise your name, Lord. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. So I talked to these words tonight and over the weekend. And the scripture says to examine yourself. Oh, yes. And this ain't for me to examine you. It's to examine myself. Yes. See if, where I'll be in the faith. Right. And I got thinking. The scripture says to redeem the time, seeing that the days are evil. And I, got, I, I started asking myself some questions. You know, there's 168 hours in a week. We come to church, if we come to all four services, not including the activities and saying we may be here 12 hours. How many hours besides that do I spend reading my Bible in prayer? Meditating on the Lord. See, magnify the Lord. Because, you know, Jesus came on this earth. He yeah. came to, to save us from our sins. We, and because of that sacrifice, we received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That means we have power. Yes, it does. That means if I exercise that power, and the scripture says in um, Hebrews 5, it talks about when you ought to be teachers. Yes. You yourself need another to teach you. And it goes down and says that, that when you should eat, that you can't eat strong meat. It says, and it talks about exercise your senses, that you may be able to discern what's good and evil. Well, if I don't exercise my senses, if any animal in, in nature has a huge sm hearing, smell, why? It's a warning of danger. See, if I don't have my vision right, if I don't hear, have my hearing right, not these things here, but my spiritual hearing, right. my spiritual vision. The pastor said our vision's in front of us. Right. And, and those headlights are only good as, as good as the light that's in them. Right. You can have the headlights, but the lights are not working. Right. It don't do us any good, does it? Right. Right. Praise your name, Lord. Yes. Amen. Right? right? Praise your name, Lord. Say, they... The people without a vision perish. But he, but they that keep the law are happy. But what law are we to keep? There was only two commandments that Jesus gave us. He said to love thy God with all thy heart, all our soul. And to likewise, to love your neighbor as yourself. And I, I remember last week when Brother Carlson was here. And he talked about flying the airplane. He talked about, how many talk, remember talking about the stabilizer? Yeah, yeah. And it was a vertical <coughs> and horizontal right. stabilizer. And I thought the word stabilizer was interesting because that's the cross. That's the cross. My relationship with God and my relationship with you. Right. You see, if I don't love you, then I can't love God. Amen. Praise your name. Amen. 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 If I can't free, forgive you, then I can't be forgiven. Praise your name, Lord. Amen. Amen. So I want to exalt the Lord tonight. Yes. Not just in this place, but when I go home, 
I want to live my life. There's a song that we sing, and I can't get all, because I'm not very good at songs sometimes, but to live a life of praise. And that's what I want to do. I, I, I want to follow this a great example. It says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher for our faith, for the joy that was set before him. He endured the cross, despite the shame. Now he's set me on the right hand of the Father. He's my example. And if I follow that example, then I can be an example to others. But when I don't follow that example, then I'm, I'm a bad example. But I'm going to be a good example tonight. I'm going to be an example of the faith. Praise your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many are glad to be here tonight? How many want to magnify the Lord? How many want to exalt his name? Praise your name, Lord. Hallelujah. His name's above every name. His name's above Baba Baba. His name's above my name. Brother Ronald's name. His name is Jesus. He came to save his person. He is the baptizer. He is the healer. He is the great redeemer. Praise your name, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. He came to set us free. Hallelujah. Praise your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, and we we talk about you know with people coming for prayer, not being critical, because I've done the same thing. We come up for the natural things, don't we? Sometimes. We're sick in our body. We're um, we financial needs, whatever. But you know what and not saying that God's not concerned about because he loves us. Yes. And he wants to see his people prosper. Yes. But you know what he's more concerned about? Is the spirit. Yes. And the soul. So when Adam fell in the garden, the first thing that died was not his body. But with his soul and his spirit. So the day you eat of this tree is the day that you shall die. Well, we know that he, according to the scriptures, he lived 930 years, didn't he? But that day he died as far as God's concerned. Yes. So Jesus came and, and it's in um, Matthew, the eighth chapter. You know, he just healed a centurion service, servant. He said, he said, he said, the centurion says, well, you, I'm not worried that you should come under my roof by a man of authority and all that. He goes, just speak the word. Just speak the word. Then the next setting, he was in Peter's brother-in-law's house. He was sick with fever. And he healed her. Then, it, then it, they brought all those who were possessed with the devil. And he spoke the word. And they, they prayed. And the scripture below that says, and according to the prophet Isaiah, that he took on uh, our infirmities and he bared our sickness. And I got thinking, what sickness was that? What is the most dreaded disease that human beings face? It's not cancer, but it's sin. By one man, by one man, sin entered the world, and death by sin. But you know what? The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through who? Yes. Jesus Christ, yes. our Lord. Yes. See, he came to bear our sins. Yes. Amen. Amen. Burma talked about being snake bit. Yes. And that, that Moses made that serpent. Right. And he and they raised that serpent. And those who have looked upon that serpent could be healed from that serpent. But what did he say in John? Says, As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so shall the Son of Man shall be lifted up. If we'll look upon him. If we'll trust upon him, yes. if we'll believe upon him, yes. any disease, any curse yes. will be taken care of. Yes. If I'll just trust and believe in him, oh, yes. I can speak to the mountain and the mountain will be removed. Because yes. yes. he is bigger than any mountain yes. I can yes. He is bigger than any giant yes. in my life. Yes. He is the giant slayer. Yes. Yes. Praise yes. your name, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. He said, if you just have the yes. seed of, um, yes. of a mustard grain, is that, is that right. just the size of your faith? You can speak to the sycamore tree, yes. and it'll be plucked out by the roof and cast to the sea. Yes. If we'll trust and believe in him. Yes. And that's, believe me, sometimes I'll think in my carnal self, I said, Lord, how is this possible? 
But they asked Jesus the same question. He said, how can, how can anyone be saved? He said, with man, it's impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Yes. Then I think of the setting, and Abraham had his son, and God gave to Abraham, you take your son, your only son, Isaac, and you take and you sacrifice him. And Isaac, he looked around, and he said, and I'm paraphrasing, he said, Dad, I see the wood. I see the fire, but where's the sacrifice? Mm -hmm. and, and Abraham said, to God will provide. Amen. He will provide a lamb for a sacrifice. God will and God will provide. Yes, he will provide. He says, I was once young and now old, and I've never seen the righteous forsaken or the seed begging bread. How many of you know that there, you have a roof on your head tonight? Amen. You have it somewhere to lay down. You have meat on your table, don't you? Yes. We're blessed. We're blessed. I woke up this morning. I checked. I still had a pulse. I'm blessed. I'm able to walk. I'm upright. I'm able to put one foot in front of the other. I'm blessed. Bless. Praise your name, Lord. Bless. Hallelujah. I'm above the ground. Bless. I'm blessed. Bless. I'm able to take a breath. I'm blessed. Bless. Praise your name, Lord. Bless. So he provided that. Bless. He provided that. Bless. If we'll trust him. He says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, yes. and all these things will be added unto you. Yes. And I got thinking about something. Yes. When Solomon was about to become king, and God came to him, I believe, in a dream. He said, Solomon, I can give you I can give you great wishes, riches, I can give you a great kingdom, prestige, and all that. And Solomon says, I just want wisdom. That I know how to judge your people. And God says, because you ask for wisdom, I'll give you the rest. Amen. If we'll seek his kingdom, he'll, he'll take care of our natural needs. If we'll trust and believe on him, we'll make it all the way. How many want to know that we can make it? Yes. Praise your name, Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. How many think we can take a nurse down? Yes. How many say, know that we will hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Yes. He's been faithful over a few things. I'll make him ruler of many. Amen. Praise your name, Lord. Praise so I'm glad to be here, church. Praise I'm Lord. glad I'm able to lift my voice up today. Amen. I'm glad he's given me a voice to lift up. That I'm able to praise his name. Praise your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise your name, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So I'm thanking you, Lord. Grandma, it's okay we receive the offering now. Okay, and brother, how you want to do it, that's up to you. But, you know, we, you know the pastor said what the need was. The need is great. The greatest need. But you know what? God can provide. Great. Yes. He can provide. Right now, I don't have anything in my pocket. All I can offer him is a praise. But you know what? God can provide. Amen. If, we, if we'll trust and believe in him. And, and stop confessing our shortcomings, but exalt his name. Oh, yes. And say how big he is our God. Oh, yes. How wonderful is our God. You know what? Then things will happen here. Oh, yes. Because people will come to a church where a great God is magnified Amen. in our people. Amen. So I love the Lord. I love him. I appreciate him. And um, whatever song you want to use or... Praise your name, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. You, Jesus.